What's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next example in the unit one advanced functions test. So this one is going to be dealing with graphing. We have to graph the function f of x equals negative 4 over x plus 5 minus 3. So notice that this is a transformed reciprocal function, right? The parent function is 1 over x. Now, as usual, I recommend pausing the video here, trying the question yourself, make the graph go through the transformation process. We've gone through this a lot in the transformation videos and the lecture videos and see if you can get the same graph that I'm going to get, right? So try it yourself first and then you can watch my process, see how your process compares, see if you get the same table, see if you get the same uh, graph, see if you get the same characteristics like the different asymptotes and then also the domain and range. So we got this function here. Now, first thing I always like to do is get my transformation values, right? So the A value, the K value, the D value, and then the C value. Now, just in general, the uh, reciprocal function, the format of it, we have the A value at the top, we got K bracket X minus D plus C, like that. Okay, so let's try to match these uh, transformation values here. So the A value, it's obviously gonna be this negative four, now the k value, notice there's like an imaginary one on the outside of this x plus five like that. So the k value is just gonna be one. The d value is gonna be negative five. Remember, it's always the opposite sign, right? So it's like x minus negative five, which is like x plus five. And then the c value is positive three, like that. Okay, so we have our transformation values. Now, remember with the um, reciprocal function in particular, remember that the D value always represents the what? The vertical asymptote, okay? And then the C value represents the horizontal asymptote. And that's gonna help us when we end up graphing these functions or this function in particular, I always like to draw the asymptotes first and then I like to plot the points around those asymptotes just so we can know or to better see what the shape is uh, going to be. Now, the reciprocal function, the parent function, y equals 1 over x, what's the table of values that we use? Well, personally, I like to use negative 2, negative 1, negative 0.5, and then zero, and then we have 0 0.5, one, and two. Those are the x values I like to use. The corresponding y values, one over negative two, negative 0.5, negative one, negative two. Now at zero on the parent function, we know there's a vertical asymptote. And then the um, at an x value of 0.5, we got a y value of two, one, 0.5, like that. So that's the parent function. And then what we have to do is we have to take those coordinates and transform them based on these transformation values. Now, remember, what's the formula? What's the mapping formula? X over K plus D, A, Y plus C. So all the X values, we're gonna take them, divide them by one in this case, and then add the D value of negative five. So it's like X over one, which is just X minus five like that. And then we got a y plus c, so negative 4 times y plus 3. So we got negative 4y plus 3, like that. Right, so all of these x values here, we're going to be putting them through this transformation, so, or this uh, transformation x minus 5. So it's going to be negative 7, negative 6, negative 5.5, 0 minus 5 is negative 5, and then 0.5 minus 5 is uh, negative 4.5, 1 minus 5 is negative 4, and then 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Yo, yo, what's up? Quick little intermission here. I wanted to mention a few things and we'll get right back into the video. Number one, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to the description box and there's a link that will take you to my website, allthingsmathematics.com, and there you can find all of the videos organized by chapter, 
by section, and there's also tests that you could try at the end of each unit that have video solutions. Number two, if you feel like you need tutoring at any point, hit me up. I'm tutoring students seven days a week over Zoom, both high school and university students, one-on-one -on -one and in groups. My contact details are on the website. You could text me and we can book a session. And finally, if you feel like you're getting any value from this video, if you could please like the video and subscribe to the channel, hit me up on all my socials. It does help me out a lot. If you feel like any of your friends can benefit, feel free to forward the website to them as well. And back to the video, we go like that. And then taking all these Y values and putting them through this formula, negative four Y plus three. So that would be what? Five, uh, four plus three is seven. That would be 11. Now this VA just stays as a VA. I'll talk about that in a sec. Negative four times two is negative eight, plus three is negative five, negative one. And then negative four times 0.5 is uh, negative two plus three, which gives us positive one like that. And so that's the table of values that we're going to plot. That's the table of values for this function that we were given. Now notice that we got a vertical asymptote at negative five, which is actually in line with what we wrote here, right? We already knew the vertical asymptote was going to be at negative five because we mentioned the D value is always going to be the vertical asymptote. But it's nice to see how in the table it corresponds correctly. So it's like a little mini check that you have on the way to graphing this function. All right, so to graph this, I'm going to erase this. Um, and then I think I could probably fit the graph. Actually, you know what? Let's maybe take all of this up here and uh, erase it. I'm going to move this up here, give myself some more room. Okay, so let's make the axes. Now, first thing, as I mentioned, that I like to plot first are the asymptotes. So I'm going to plot the vertical asymptote at negative five. That's going to be here. So we got x equals negative five. And then I like to plot the horizontal asymptote at three. So that's going to be right there. We got that horizontal asymptote of three. And then from here, I like to plot these points, right? Along or uh, around these vertical asymptotes. So we got negative seven and five. That's going to be like, let's say right there. Then we got negative six and seven. That's going to be like, let's say here. And then negative 5.5 and 11. That's going to be up here. Again, this is not to scale. If you were to take this and draw it on graph paper, your diagram would be more to scale than mine, but just giving you um, a general uh, description of what this uh, of what this graph is going to look like. So negative 4.5, negative 5, that's like down here. And then we got negative 4 and negative 1. Uh, that's going to be, let's say, like right here. And then we got negative 3 and positive 1. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to put this point a little bit higher. And like that, and then I got negative three and positive one. Looks something like that, right? And so we can just join these points. Again, not the most perfect graph, but it's gonna look something like that, right? It should always give you a shape around these asymptotes that you drew. All right, so now that we have that, let's actually grab our domain and range. So I'm going to, let's erase this transformation formula. Let's do it up here. So the domain of this, well, the domain of any reciprocal function is always what? X ER, X cannot equal V vertical asymptote, which is happening at negative five. So that's going to end up being the domain range is going to be what? Y ER. Y cannot be the horizontal asymptote, which in this case is three. All right. So you end up with the graph. Hopefully your graph looks similar to this one. And then that's going to be your domain and 
range. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to find more videos like this, you can go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all my courses are organized for both high school and university. All the videos are organized by chapter. Also, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. My contact details are also on the website. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.